In the kitchen this morning, we are welcoming back Kathleen Belici from Belici's Biscotti, and we are making quite the perfect bite today using her absolutely delicious biscotti. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. We're so happy to have you, and I know you're always making these perfect little pairings, so we're going to highlight one today that you're going to be showing off soon at a Hope in Maine event that's coming up. Yes, so Hope in Maine is celebrating their seventh anniversary in every year, except for the last mm -hmm. two, last year, they've had the, it's called the Twilight Party. So all of the members or the makers prepare a, just a delicious little bite. And then we have wineries and distilleries that come. So we've got beer and wine. What a great Wonderful. time. So this looks perfect. Tell us about our pairing that we'll be preparing here today. Great. So it is uh, our biscotti. So mm -hmm. um, I'm using the almond and the Johnny Cake Cranberry Biscotti. Yum. And this is our classic biscotti okay. that you can get at Whole Foods and TJX stores. Ah, oh, awesome. And it is a little bite of biscotti with a poached pear and a crumble of crispy prosciutto. It really looks so perfect, simple, but you really thought about this flavor profile here, making the pears poached instead of just cutting them up and putting them on that crispy prosciutto. Tell us how that brings the flavor out a little bit. Well, you, you start off with uh, just a plain piece of prosciutto, 350 oven, simplest thing to make, 15 minutes, turn it a couple of times, and it just gets crispy. And you know how if you make bacon, mm, it begins to sizzle. That. And that's how you know it's yes. crispy. Pull it out. Perfect. And you just let it cool. Keep it in an airtight container. And it stays crispy, crispy. It's a wonderful little... It looks absolutely perfect. Now, we'll be back to put this together with you and talk more about that event. But for now, we're going to send it back over to Will. And we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Kathleen Belici is here. Belici's classic biscotti. We've got biscotti poached uh, with, with some pear, crispy prosciutto on the menu, and it sounds so, so good. All right, yes. what do we got going on? We are going to turn. So here's the prosciutto. Oh. You just take a piece of prosciutto, put it in a 350 oven, turn it once, right. put it back for another five minutes, and then we have this delicious crispy bits to put on top of our poached pear. There is nothing better than that. Now, we were talking about your love for Hope in Maine. <clears throat> yes. Because it's, a, it's an incredible place. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So I started at Hope in Maine. They had been open for a couple of months, and I um, w was looking for a place just to start my business. And I literally, t I, I, I tripped across it you know, just sure. online. I, I showed up. It was a blizzard there down. It was full. It was an <laughs> SRO crowd. And everybody was just, everybody finding out about what is this, a right. place that really helps you start a business. And they have. Right, they have for you. That's for, that's for well, sure. And for so many. Sure. I think one in three food jobs over since they've opened has come out of Hope in Maine. They've created so much employment and they stayed open all during the pandemic. Wow. They created this uh, buy one, give one for someone who's food insecure. Sure. So all of the makers had, to, had an opportunity to continue to prepare. To prepare. And, and, and work. cook. Yeah. 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 So so tell us what we need to do with this. Oh, good. So we have, uh, Hope in Maine is having their Twilight uh, Gala, mm -hmm. which is the, in honor of their seventh anniversary. Right. And ever, all the makers come up with a really perfect, delicious bite. Mm -hmm. And so what I've chosen is our uh, classic almond biscotti, which debuted in Whole Foods and 40 stores Fantastic. on September 1st. Fantastic. And with the poached pear and the crispy prosciutto. So, so you're so poaching the pears right now, right? I am. And here... What is this? Okay, I'm going to give this take, a try. Take that. Okay. So that it's a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of sun sear, a little bit of wine, and just very nice. And you oh just sort God. of soak up those flavors. <laughs> that is heavenly. I know. And oftentimes, Woo. whenever you poach pears, you'll always see it says vanilla. Never put vanilla in because you're going to taste vanilla rather than that wonderful right. pear taste. Right. And the type of and pear this, that you yes. are using, how w <laughs> weird is this, right? The type of pear that you're using is called a... Pear William. Pear William, right here. I've never yes. even heard of, the, heard of a pear like this. Uh, or it looks more like an apple right, than well, anything else. But it's beautiful, though, right. isn't it? Yeah, it really Very is. Very nice. Yeah. Anyway, that's, uh, that's so delicious. that's the pear. Okay. And then we also have some boss so pears. So you have some and of these. And then over here, so you just take... 
uh, a piece of biscotti. Okay, so we'll get this here. And a spoon. Mm -hmm. And put that there. Right. And then we just take, and I left the skin on the pears because I want you to, you know, have a, see a little bit of that. Okay. And then, now you could also, just for you, we'll, bring we'll this, just bring take a skin. little bit. And you would oh have yes. a little bit of poaching liquid. Got it. And then you just take this crispy prosciutto and just sort of uh, crumble, crumble it. Right on top. Crumble it, just crumble it on top. Ooh, that looks delicious. Uh, where can they get your, uh, your biscotti? Uh, at Whole Foods. They're at Whole Foods. They're also in Dave's. Mm. <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Oh, my God. So you get the crunch of the pear, that soft and that really luscious silken pear and then that salty crunch so that it's is absolutely it's delicious. my take it's sort of like my i love sweet and savory rather than always going sweet well. or or savory so that really hits on all right. cylinders it really is it's delicious thank you so much for coming You're and welcome. great to see you all the best to you and hope in maine if you would like the recipe for this you can head on over to our website roadshow.com